Welcome aboard, everybody. This is Wednesday Night Basketball of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. D.A., take it away. Well, Kevin and guys, the NBA is a shoe culture, and none is more popular than the Kobe 4. Originally released in 2009, last season almost a quarter of all NBA players warned them. And that's not just a tribute to the Mamba, but a testament to a design that has stood the test of time. And P.J. Tucker called them the best hoop shoe ever. Strong praise. Kevin? Thanks, David. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. The forwards for them, Hunter and Collins. Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with Trey Young. Playing days, and I know you see similar players playing today. No doubt about that, uh, Kev. You know, Ben Simmons, a player at 6'10 with, with those hands. He's incredible to watch on that. And how about Fred Van Vliet, though? He's a guy, they say he's 6'1. I don't know, but he gets into you and competes, man. And that's the beauty of our game. You know, you can be as big as the trees and, and have a major impact, or you can be one of those little fellas, as they like to call us, and be equally as effective on the floor. You know, like the Chris Balls, the Patrick Beverleys, there are a lot of those guys that play the, the ball Bulldogs. like you did so well. Yeah, right. Great, great players. Now Young. Paul George missing from long range. Bogdanovich, no luck. Outside, George, and he drives in. Uses the glass to finish the layup. How about the dribble drive ability of Paul George? The quick handles for a guy his size. Young looking it over. Bogdanovich against George. Five to shoot. Young for three. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Outside for Jackson. Outside Leonard. A three-pointer, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. The Hawks again can't hit. The Clippers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. And Paul George Doris, kind of a late bloomer coming up in high school. His older sister used to give him the business on the blacktop. Uh, of course, eventually, he found his stride, and the rest is history. It took some encouraging from older sis and his high school coach, who actually had to threaten him with running suicides to get the guy to shoot more. And think about it. This guy plays his college basketball at mid-major Fresno State. That's really where he got onto the NBA radar. Here's Bogdanovich. Now Capella kicks to Bogdanovich. Just four to shoot. Well, that's the wingspan of Paul George. He is so good at bothering shooters with that length. And stolen by Bogdanovich. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Young with the ball. From deep. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Young's got five. And the touch Young has from beyond the arc. He is almost unguardable from there. On the wing, George. He's covered by Bogdanovich. George with the bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here's Bogdanovich. Paul George making his last shot. Collins, a screen on Leonard. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Morris. Stolen by Collins. It's Young on the wing. And the shot goes down. He has seven. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Jackson kicks to Leonard. Over Hunter. Leonard, no luck. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Looks good, is good. 
Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Jackson down low. He's against Young. Zubac the pass to George. Rocket six. Over Bogdanovich. Los Angeles with another miss. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. That one goes in. How about the vision from as an opportunity? Leonard the pass to Morris. Over Collins. Morris finds Jackson. Leonard attacking. And then Leonard with the dunk. As unassuming as he looks sometimes, Kawhi Leonard finishes with authority off the dribble. Young outside from deep three-point range. Another three for Atlanta. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Here's George. Morris kicks to Jackson. 122 left in the first quarter. Zubats the pass to Leonard. Back to Zubats. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Boy, that open look set up by Kawhi Leonard. That's probably the most underrated aspect of his game. Young from outside. Kept alive. Collins. And finished off by Collins. And what a way to start this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Jackson, a screen on Bogdanovich. George, no good. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Jackson against Young. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Now here's Leonard. Trains it from beyond the arc. Leonard's got five now. This guy loves to help his team space the floor. You have to respect Kawhi's range. He will make you pay. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. Stolen by George. Here's Jackson. And Jackson throws it down hard. It... Now here's Leonard. Tight defense on him. Over Reddish. Count it. And the Atlanta lead has been cut down to just three on the basket from Leonard. Well, efficiency from the mid-range has always been a part of Kawhi Leonard's game. Right. The pass to going up. From outside, off the mark. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of four from the four here in the second quarter. Leonard kicks to Ibaka. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Atlanta leading by three. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Here's Herter. No good from outside. And so Ibaka, he'll bring it up for the Clippers. Only given up two points this quarter man can hit and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall that is kicks to Gallinari right dishes to Gallinari the shot no good great tee that time from Batum they've been struggling here on offense yeah a bit of a dry spell for sure and we've got an update here so let's catch up with David Aldridge Kevin, good evening. The Clippers were picked by many to win the title last year. Now, they didn't get it done, but Kawhi Leonard is not concerned. He said, we've just got to keep getting better, keep fighting. It's about the right team peaking at the right time. Guys, they're hoping this season, their talent and their fight will win out. Back to you. We will see. Good stuff, D.A., thanks. Leonard, the best of man. Right side Leonard. 
And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. This guy is such an excellent finisher at the rim. He's got incredibly long arms and very strong hands. Pass to Capella. Here's Herder. Bob pass to Capella. Pass to Mann. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Back to Batum. Out to Ibaka. Dishes it to Leonard. Six to shoot. Takes it from ten. And the shot goes in. Leonard's got the lead up to one now for the Clippers. Greg, you and I have talked about how the NBA Finals used to be tape delayed. What's the value of fans getting to see the broadcast live now as opposed to tape delayed as it was back in the, in the 70s? Isn't that a weird to even think that that's it the is. case? I know but, it. <laughs> you know, I think, Kev, yeah, that the fans, they just feel more connected to their favorite teams, the end players. Uh, it creates more anxiety, right? Because nowadays there's nothing that can happen that you don't know about it, whether you see it or not. Uh, so live sports, uh, especially the NBA Finals, the anticipation, that anxiety that we talked about, man, I, I'm still a fan to this day in a different way. Uh, so I can only imagine when you have a personal vested interest in the team, what that's got to feel like. Edge of your seat, you're right. Well, some contact there on the shot, but Danilo Gallinari... Much improved upper body strength. Maintains his focus. Nicely done. Leonard. Oh, what a dunk! Look out below! <laughs> well, don't let Kawhi's quiet demeanor fool you. This guy has athleticism and explosiveness. How about that in style? Here's Hurt. No points in the game yet for him. Three-pointer right. Batum grabs the miss. And it's the Clippers ball. They're on a 12-4 run. And it's Leonard missing. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Here's Wright. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Hawks lead by one. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Leonard on the wing. 15 points in the game. And Ibaka kicks to Leonard. Fires at the elbow. And he overshot that one, missing. Atlanta shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Reddish's shot is good. First trail by three. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubox. Wing pairing for him, it's George and Leonard. And it's Jackson in a point guard. That's who's out there for the Clippers. And that one, good. Jackson's got his second bucket of the night. He uses the threat of his drive to open up looks for him offensively. Jackson is one smart cookie. Pat Donovich wide open. Offline with his three. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Here's Jackson. Here's Leonard. Second shot opportunity. And here's Morris for three. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Morris has got the lead up to two now for the Clippers. When the story of Kawhi Leonard is told, it will be about the hard work being the secret of his success. Here was a guy who was not the most vaunted prospect in either high school or college. But boy, he kept his eyes on what he was after, and he kept working. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Now, here is Young. He's got 14. Here's Bogdanovich. They can't stop the run with that one. And Doris, you were talking about Leonard's work ethic. Going back to San Diego State, he used to come in at 6.30 in the morning. No lights on in the gym, so he brought his own lamps. I mean, the guy was dedicated. No doubt, Kevin, and that has been the through line of his career. First to practice, last to leave. He has that hunger to improve. The drive and the desire to put in the time to be great. There's a price to be paid, and he's willing to pay it. Got that one up quick. Jackson's got four points in the quarter. I'll tell you, one thing Jackson has never lacked, confidence. I mean, when he gets a look, Reggie always believes his next shot will be his best one.
Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast uh, table? Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And, and quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcasting. You know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that we take for granted now. So looking back on it, no, but boy, am I glad I did. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember <laughs> this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us. Went back out on the floor. Doc nudges me and said he'll be great in TV Sunday. So we saw it then. He's a, he's a good mind. The man knows what he's talking about. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Zubats a screen on Collins. A shot by George, wide open. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got his third assist on the night. Jackson against Young. There's the three. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now eight for 14. And you talk about getting back into the game, folks. Three is better than two. And you don't need to tell him that. He's used the three-point shot as his primary weapon today. The Hawks trail by four. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, thanks very much, Kevin. Clint Capella is a seven-footer in track shoes. He said, I always try to have that pace. Whenever I sprint, I have an impact on the offense. I try to focus on that and keep my energy up. Guys, guards love big men who run the floor as hard as Capella. Back to you. He is indeed, David, very athletic. Thanks. Collins looking around. Young, no good. Now the Clippers with it. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's George, and it's George finishing it off. Don't sleep on Paul George's verticality. How nice was that finish? And so it's Young who brings it up for the Hawks. Eight-point game. Collins a screen on Jackson. Shots good from Young. Their third three-pointer in a row. The Clippers have gone 7 of 11, a lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Morris into the lane. Leonard inside. 15 points in the game. Out to Morris from past the arc. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got three assists tonight. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Bogdanovich against George. Over Bogdanovich. Leonard Von Zubats. Jackson with the bounce pass. Five on the clock. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Zubats. Then for the Hawks, Alinari comes in for Clint Capella, and it's Williams in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. The Hawks trail by six. One forty-one left in the third quarter of the game. Young from outside gets it to go from beyond the arc. Young's got 12 points here in the second half. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. Here's George. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. This is a case where it's just the pure strength of Paul George, able to fight through contact so well on these shots. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Clippers. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. Yeah, something else that stands out tonight is how many assists they have. And the free throw, no good. 
Well, I don't know that when he was selected 10th overall back in 2010, that the casual fan understood that Paul George would become one of the most effective two-way players in the NBA, but he's done just that. Right side, Leonard. Eight for 15 with that made basket, but he's not satisfied yet. And what a half for this offense. If they can stay this high, a great chance to extend this lead. Williams attacking over George. It's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Williams. Here's Jackson. Six points for him. Passes it to Leonard. Again, Los Angeles. Well, what makes Kawhi? And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. On the court for Atlanta, Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with Gallinari. Then it's Williams. Then it's Trey Young. And it's Collins in at the center. Free throw good from Young. And the second season for Trey Young, just unreal. Pulling off amazing performances at such a young age. Gray, just how good do you think he can be? You know, Kevin, Young will be viewed as a top 20 guard in this league for a long time. When it's all said and done, might be one of the best point guards in league history. Certainly is on his way to being one of the best shooters to ever play. And it's Gallinari missing. Los Angeles leading by three. George looking over the floor. Ring shot on the way. Trey Young grabs the miss. Hawk shooting at 44%, pretty reasonable. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. That one falls. Young's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, and this is Young at his very best. Once he gets a few to fall, boy, watch out. Jackson passes to George. Tries the spin move. And it's George again missing. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for Atlanta. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. The Clippers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's George. Hits the target from 18 feet. George has got 16 here in the second half. Well, there's superb shot selection right now with Paul George. He's aggressive, but he's still playing within the offense. Here's Young. Yep, it counts. They are just killing him on the interior. The Clippers in the lead. Jackson passes to George. Morris with the screen for George. To the middle. Hangs. Morris with the bucket. Well, Marcus Morris, such a solid understanding of how to take advantage of the pick and roll situation. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Hoganovich. Rebound by the Clippers. Buck has got four rebounds now tonight. Here's George. He takes it in. Oh, oh the whoa. power on that Goodness. Goodness. Now, Paul George is an exceptional athlete and demonstrating his insane dunking skills there. <laughs> Get this guy in the dunk competition. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Atlanta. Free throw good from George. The Hawks trail by six. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Looking to get back on track here. The kick out to Young. Here's Herter. Plays it up and banks it in. 
Herter's got his first basket of the night. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And the pass to Kennard for three. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Bogdanovich has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And so the ball is out of bounds. Bogdanovich touched it last. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Young against Jackson. And here's George for three. Atlanta with the rebound. Here's Hurt. Alinari outside. Over George. It's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Gallinari. In between game for Danilo Gallinari. Okay. Jackson down low, defended by Young, and Jackson with the basket on the assist by Morris. And, and guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Posting, slashing, getting to the rim, whatever produces these high percentage looks. Kevin, back to you. On defense, the Clippers, they lead by four. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Uh, with a number of moves and shots to choose from, Hunter is scary. Nice bucket there. The drive by Jackson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That free throw, no good. And, and Reggie Jackson, the former 24th pick by the Thunder, wasn't content to back up Westbrook. He basically forced his way out in search of a larger role. And the second free throw, good. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Capella with a screen on Jackson. Young, no good. Clippers leading by three. Pass to Morris. Outside, George. Over Bogdanovich. Kept alive. The Hawks have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. With the drive, and that one drops. Uh, and that was the right call. When, when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. And George, here we go. Oh, that's blocked. And putting that 7-2 wingspan to good use. Hunter can be an elite defender if he keeps working at it. To take the lead. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Hawks lead by one. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one up. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swing. We are talking about a solid 230 pounds. Kawhi Leonard's strength and his frame allows him to get shots off under duress. John Collins, he's checked in for Gallinari. Free throw drops for Leonard. Now this guy has a reputation for being a great free throw shooter, and you've got to knock him down. He does it here. Collins, a screen on Jackson. Here's Young, and he banks in the layup. 
Young's got the game tied up here for Atlanta. And the work ethic coming into play there. Yeah, I like how Young can just focus on the task at hand. Back to Jackson. Good defensive work there by Young. Atlanta's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Buries the triple. So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Got it. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. This guy is such a tough cover in the pick and roll. Paul George threading the needle perfectly. Excellent pass. Young fires away from outside. Good. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. George against Bogdanovich. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, make no mistake, Paul George is a physical guy. He will not shy away from contact on these moves. the first one and that brings them within two here. And George drops them both. There's 31 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Now Young. Here's the teardrop. And the rejection by Jackson. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Young against Jackson. Lob pass to Capella. Money! And they do have a foul to give. Los Angeles calls timeout. They trail by three. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? Score quickly and take the foul. Here's Leonard. Jackson finds George. Oh, wow, a huge basket to tie the game. Well, the three ball has become one of the best attributes that Paul George brings to the table. Great form, great touch. And Nate McGill. Bogdanovich left side. Over George. It's good! That's a perfect mid-range jumper. All he needs is an inch of space, and they gave it to him. So it's the Hawks who come out on top. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Trey, leadership is such a key part of that point guard position, so what do you focus on with that? I'm a big guy and building team chemistry, so any, any chance I can, go bowling, hang out with these guys, build chemistry, and um, I think that's where it starts is off the court, because that translates on. Yeah, you guys look like a tight-knit group right now, man. Congrats on the win. Kevin? David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. 
For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.